I'm Sandy with CleverCookStore.com, and I got a new gadget in recently that I thought would be fun to try. I haven't experimented with it yet, so we're going to test it out together and see if it does what it claims to do. This is by Norpro, and it's a vegetable fruit core. And I have a variety of vegetables. You can also use this on fruit, too. You can do apples and pears and cantaloupe. So let's try, let's try a tomato first and see if we can core it like it says. I think I'm going to get this little thing that's out here. Get rid of that. So you're going to take it. You're going to just kind of core it out. Oh. oh. The stainless steel is pretty, uh, pretty sharp. Okay. Well, you know, if you're doing something like a, oh, a salad, tuna fish, something like that, and you want to core out your tomato, or if you want to just get the seeds out, this actually works pretty good. And you can see what it did. So this would work way better than using a spoon. So, all right, so we tried that one. And we'll see what else we can dig up here. Oh, yeah, jalapeno peppers. So let's just see what happens with this. So you want to hold it down. You can tell that this is kind of arched a little bit. I suppose you could use, nope, you can't use both sides. You want to use the, the larger one. And you just hold this down and then you can just, whoops, okay, that didn't work too good. All right, you kind of have to go on the side a little bit and it does, it does do a pretty, okay, yeah, it did a pretty decent job on that. Got those out. So, another one of my favorite tools in the kitchen is my vegetable scraper. This is great for just scooping up. All right, this is a zucchini, so let's see how a zucchini does. So we'll just cut this in half, and we're going to grab this. And I, you know, it's, it depends if it's, you know, easier to do in front of you or, but this seems to be good for me to do it going towards me like this. And this, okay. Yeah, you kind of have to hold it at an angle a little bit. And it does a pretty good job. So let's see. One thing that I hate these seeding is green pepper. I have all those little seeds in there that just are a real pain. So let's see how this is going to do for that. So if you hold this down, oh yeah, it gets out those little veins quite nicely. Okay, pretty good. Let's see what else we got. And then, of course, cucumbers. Love those cucumbers. But, you know, sometimes it's hard to find cucumbers that don't have those huge, gigantic seeds in them. Because those are not good. So, sometimes I'll just kind of, see, big. Not acceptable. So, what we'll do is we'll take our little de-seeder. Let's see if you can see what I'm doing here. And just grasp it down. And you're making this nice little tunnel that you can fill with your favorite tip. Or if you want to, you can just chop it up and do it like that. So, all in all, I think this did a fairly decent job. I think it would do a great job on, oh, maybe even pineapple, but definitely apples, pears, cantaloupe, squash, anything like that. So check it out. This is Sandy from clevercookstore.com. Have a fabulous day. Thanks.